all right welcome back guys so in this one we are going to generate an apk which is a file that we can upload to the play store all right so i'm going to open android studio okay so a and d and i'll just click enter but before then i feel like i did not you know emphasize um how you can actually implement your interstitial ad on your home page okay so let me just show you how let me just repeat that because i did it but i didn't emphasize it so while my android studio is opening up i'll go to my app toolkit and for the google ads um, section which is step nine i'm just going to copy this um block here to call the interstitial ad from any button on the home page so let me copy it all right and then i'll go to my home page so for example what i'm going to do is first let me get to home page dot so home page home dot page dot html all right so what i'm going to do is i want it such that when i click on this first uh, menu item here it will first show an ad before it goes to the page okay so i'm going to locate that menu item it's at the top okay so yeah so men's cycle that's this one here and in the column here where you have the router link okay just after the router link place your cursor give a space and paste in that code you copied okay and then save so it should reload the app if my connection is still my local host connection to the app is still okay so it's working so it will reload the app right just by adding this guy here when i click on that button it will first show an ad before it then goes to the page after the user has closed the ad okay i wonder why it's taking so long to reload but okay all right so finally um so i'm going to test it out so i'm going to click on this main cycle and watch what happens so it shows an ad and then when i close the ad so this is the close button it's a test ad when i close the ad it will go to that page so it has come to this page okay so let me just go back all right so um let's go to what we have for this particular lecture which is the android studio part so android studio is still opening so i'm just going to wait till it opens so i'm going to um this is Android Studio open. I'm going to um, click on import project. Okay. And basically all I need to do is, so let me just scroll up and ideally this is what you see. So I'm in my C drive and I'll go to Ionic and then I'll select this Ionic project. So healthy woman is the Ionic project. So it opens up. Let me scroll down and then I would select uh, platforms. And the, f the folder I need is the Android folder, which is inside of platform. So I'm just going to click on it and click on OK. And I'll give it a few minutes or like a few seconds to load that folder or that project. Okay, so you see it says loading here. So you just give it a few moments and it will load the project inside of Android Studio. All right, finally, my um, project has loaded. So basically, what I want to do is I want to build an APK, okay? And this APK is just for testing purposes, okay? So it's a debug APK. So I'll come here, I'll click on build, and I'll click on this build APK, build bundle slash APK, and then I'll select build APK, okay? What I'll do is I'll click on event log so that I can see what is happening okay so the processes that are going on so just give it a moment and my apk should should build so here it says gradle build running so i'll just pause the video and give it some time and it should build my apk file all right so the build process is complete and i have a notification here that apk generated successfully all right so what if you look very closely you see this option to locate that apk so if i click on locate it will open the folder where the apk is located excuse me so this is the folder 
now what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this folder and install it on my device on my android device okay not a virtual device or an emulator and then i would show it to you um while i test the application so let me just do that quickly all right so i just installed it on my android device and i projected my android device onto my laptop screen so this is my android device right here and as you can see the app installs very nicely on my android device and you can see the test ad shows okay so let me click on a button just to make sure that um, my interstitial ad also works so i'll click on the button here learn more and you see that the interstitial ad works okay although this is a test ad but still the process is still same remember that all you need to do is to change your um, app id and set your is testing to false okay so i'm gonna go back and basically that's just how it works okay and we've been able to successfully create a demo app and with this you can actually create your own app so i look forward to you know having you create your own project okay in the next video we are going to generate a signed apk okay and with that signed apk can be uploaded to the play store okay uh that's what we're going to do in the next video all right thank you so much for watching this one See you in the next one.